Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish, guys. Yes, on the Walmart Rio. Let's go. Oh my gosh, he's fighting back. I thought it was a log. Yes, Walmart Rio finally caught us a good fit. Oh, it snapped it off. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. Hey, yo, folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So, guys, go ahead and make that subscribe button turn gray so you can be in the next video's comment of the day. Today, we are here at Walmart. I've seen all the comments down below, guys, reading your video ideas that you guys have for me. And uh, yeah, we're back today, day 26 of the daily fishing videos and I saw you guys were talking about this brand new like Ozark Trail Walmart fishing rod and reel so I guess Walmart is now making rods and reels that are actually like Walmart brand so not like a Shimano or a Luz or a Daiwa or something like that it is an actual Ozark Trail brand reel and rod and I'm hoping they have it here because from what I've heard these things are really tough to find but hopefully we can find something Ozark Trail whether it's like a reel or a rod and then on top of that probably i'm just thinking out loud here maybe only fish with walmart lures today too like walmart brand lures so everything ozark trail should be kind of cool also guys we are on the road to 250,000 subscribers as a late christmas present it would be awesome for you guys to just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get reminded every single daily video we drop so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and go inside look for the walmart brand rods and reels and lures and go catch some fish on them today let's go all right guys we are here inside of walmart and we looked at all the rod and reel combos over there. I know that they make a bait caster, which I really want to find, but I just can't seem to find it in any of the Walmarts around me. It's like, send me pictures if you guys find this like Ozark Trail bait caster. But what they do have at this one is the Ozark Trail spinning reel. So what I thought would be really cool is we pick up this for only 15 bucks. That's like as cheap as a fishing reel can get, especially for bass fishing. And I even saw, look at this right here. Down there, there's a, a bite alert, like a Bluetooth fishing reel, which is absolutely crazy. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video with that. Let's do this video with like 2,000 likes in the first 24 hours. We'll come back, buy that, and I even have my Bluetooth fishing rod, if you guys remember that video. Maybe we combine the two together and have like the ultimate electronic fishing rod and reel. I think that would be epic. We gotta get somebody to unlock this thing, get ourselves the last Ozark Trail spinning reel, and then we'll go pick out like Ozark Trail lures and stuff like that. Combine everything together. I'm pumped that they have one though. Like, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have used like any Walmart reels before. I have not yet. So, all right, guys. So, we have bought the reel successfully. It was $15, the cheapest spinning reel inside of Walmart. Also, when I was just about to say this to you guys, I looked up here. Check this out. Look at this. They have Walmart brand tackle boxes. Did you guys even know about that? Because I definitely did not. And it kind of matches. It actually exactly matches the reel, but I already have like one too many tackle boxes so probably should not buy this because then once you buy a tackle box it's tradition you have to fill it up all the way with everything so if i buy this i'm gonna end up buying way too many lures too we we all already know i have too much of that type of stuff so put that back here but what i'm really excited about is all of the brand new walmart lures that i've barely got to use and i figure no better time to try them than with the walmart brand reel so we got swim baits and hammer hogs i think is what they're called which are basically just like a brush hog so we got like one really good for texas rigging hopping on the bottom perfect for the winter time only with a uh, with a brush hog we'll go ahead and grab green pumpkin it has a ton of tails on the end so normally in winter i want like slightly less action because you think about it all the bait in the cold they're not going to be moving around as much because it's freezing cold in the water whereas like in the spring in the fall stuff's going to be moving around more that's when i love throwing a brush hog but with all that said, I'm still gonna buy these today and try it. Also, swim baits. We had a ultimate cold front come through last night. The coldest it's been in Florida yet, which was 20 degrees, 19. Everybody was like bringing their plants inside so they wouldn't freeze over, putting blankets on them. It got cold last night, which means the day after a really cold night, normally not good for fishing, especially moving baits like a uh, Walmart swim bait. But we're gonna get it and try it as well on our uh, on our Walmart reel. So yeah, these are the new ones. They also have like old Walmart baits that have been around in stores for a year. All of these are super cheap too, like a dollar and two bucks. And the rattle traps they make, which I love rattle traps. You guys already know that, are also probably the cheapest rattle trap you can buy. I've used them before, and they're like, they're all right. They sound cool. The problem is the hooks, but we're gonna get some of those too. So you guys, right here we have the rattle trap. Looks exactly like a shad. Where we're going, there's a ton of shad, a ton of shiners. So this should be awesome too. So we have our three Walmart lures, our Walmart reel that's now broken. And we looked at all the rods. There's no Ozark Trail rods in this Walmart. If you guys know of a Walmart where they have like the bait caster version instead of the spinning combo, I want to try that too. So leave a like if you guys want to see that. But yeah, time for us to go fishing. 
actually, first, we gotta spool this bad boy up. I kinda wanna see, it looks like a decent reel. Like, if I had to guess the price, I would not think it was only $15. So, I'm really excited to see if this can stand up to the test of, like, a couple fish. If it's gonna start falling apart on me, or if it's gonna work. We'll see. Let's go. Alright guys, we have the reel and one of my rods, the Xfinity rods, that you can actually buy inside of Walmart. This is also a Walmart exclusive. You can't buy it online anywhere. You can't go to like Academy or Bassroom and pick this up. You can only get it in Walmart. So it's kind of cool. Like two Walmart exclusives. We're going to combine them together real quick. I'm excited to see. The boring stuff on this, it has 5 plus 1 ball bearings. 5 1 to 1 gear ratio, so pretty slow. Line capacity at 10 pounds to 140 yards. So not too bad for a $15 reel. But you obviously never know until you actually try to catch a fish on it and start casting it. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Dude, I hate when they put things in boxes like this. I feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm always going to cut my hand off. Aha! It surprisingly doesn't feel too bad for 15 bucks. The handle I can tell is like, actually that handle isn't even too bad. This I can tell is like kind of plasticky. Why is this only $15? probably about to figure out why it's only $15 but right now first impressions this isn't too bad if you handed me this reel without me fishing with it and you said guess the price I'd probably say like 50 60 bucks probably this is extremely surprising I don't know but there's the uh, there's the rig guys Ozark trail reel lose rod I'm gonna go try to catch some fish on this actually I need to spool it up with line first I'm probably gonna do like 20 pound braid and then maybe like a little uh, 10 pound leader something like that with fluorocarbon will be good to go and tie on the uh, the Walmart lures Alrighty guys, we are here at the pond, spooling up my line. Today's going to be one of those pond hopping days where, uh, you know, it's cold outside. So maybe they'll be biting somewhere and not somewhere else. So that's kind of what we're doing. But we're at spot number one. Kind of should spool this up differently, but this is what it is. I'm going to do like 20 pound braid here and then I got like 12 pound fluorocarbon leader that I'm going to add to this, which will be absolutely awesome. Little fairy wand and then probably throw, I don't, I don't even know what we're going to throw yet. Alright guys, we're here at the pond. Got to make sure my drag is, uh, it's good. Yeah, it should be good. <laughs> Every time you get a new reel, you need to adjust your drag, obviously. First cast, we're gonna see how far we can launch this thing. I'm just gonna, dip. I'm just gonna give it my best cast right here. Hey, I mean, for 15 bucks, that kind of got out there. Guys, like, first cast impression. Obviously, you still have to catch a fish to, like, really know. It feels decent. Like, oh, was that a fish? That's a fish eating it right now. Oh, <laughs> I should have set the hook. Oh, no. But uh, first cast though, uh, obviously got a bite, so that's good. But it feels nice. The thing with cheap reels though is a lot of times out of the package, they can feel really good, but then you take them fishing for like two weeks and they start all of a sudden casting half the distance that they were before. So that's really where like the quality of fishing reels comes in. It's not only like the first trip, but it's like the first like 20 trips or so. I see fish rolling everywhere out here, dude. All right, if I don't give it on this. Ooh. Oh, I got one, I got one, yes! Yes! <laughs> First one on the Walmart reel, are you guys kidding me? That was awesome, I flipped right next to that tree right there, and he instantly just picked it up. Ended up switching it to like a little Ned rig from actually some lures we also bought at Walmart. Just smoked it. That is, oh, thank you very much, little fish. <laughs> That is so cool. Guys, little tiny Ned rig when it comes to winter fishing, that brush hog was just slightly too big. Switched it up to the little Ned rig, even though it's a tiny fish, still got the job done. And the big ones will definitely eat the Ned rig as well. Oh, my bad buddy. Here you go. You got it. Walmart reel complete. We caught a fish literally from the coldest night of the whole entire year to today. That is, uh, that's epic. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that we were gonna catch anything today. So that makes me very happy. All right, guys, we are here at uh, pond number two. Still got the Nedberg tied on. Even tied myself on a little liter of 12 pound fluorocarbon. I cut the last one on 40 pound braid straight, which was crazy. So far, the reel is good, like trying to break it and stuff. I mean, I feel like I maybe this like handles like slightly. Ooh, I thought I had one. Not the best material, but overall, like I'm impressed. <laughs> Oh, that's a fish, that's a fish, guys. Yeah, it's on the Walmart reel, let's go. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Heck yes, there we go. First fish at this pond on the Ned Rig. Actually th bit down a speed worm like in half. Check this out, guys. Talk about a weird Ned Rig. And boom, little guy, that's two little ones. Uh, 
Love to find a big one on the uh, to test the Walmart wheel out. I'm gonna let this guy go right here. See you, buddy. <sighs> Guys, that's two fish on the Walmart reel. I mean, this thing, it handles at least, like I had to bring that through a ton of stuff. And for a spinning rod, normally a bait caster would be like a great thing to use here. But for a spinning reel, I mean, obviously it has a lot to do with the rod over the reel. But we still managed to make it work somehow. <laughs> this is crazy. Come on, give us another one. Guys, if you really think about it, we've been doing daily uploads. And every single day, it seems like, I don't know why, the midday bite and even the morning bite is not good right now. But right when we get there, I know you guys said CEO of 30 minutes <laughs> of daylight left. But like for real, 30 minutes of daylight left. It's every single time for like probably two weeks now. It has been like this where they start biting right around the end. I would love to reel in some more fish though on this Walmart reel. Like it doesn't feel like a Walmart reel. I'll tell you guys that much. It's surprising me for sure. Is that another fish? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, this might be, it's better. <laughs> Not crazy big. Jeez, I can horse him in. That is crazy. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Guys, I was so against using spinning reels and Ned rigs for the longest time. I'm telling you guys, like if you're having trouble catching fish, especially this time of year, try yourself a little Ned rig. Like just see how it goes because I mean, they just flat out catch fish. I think if I would have had that brush hog there, this fish probably wouldn't have ate it. But that looks so much more natural like in the winter time. And it's a much easier meal for this dude right here. All right, see you, buddy. <laughs> yes, that is epic. Come on, I know there's some four and five pounders in here. Where are they at? I think there's actually like a seven or eight pounder in here too, which is just crazy to think because this pond isn't like huge or anything. Who would have thought a little speed worm broken in half on a Ned rig would work as well as it is right now? This is crazy. Oh, it's, oh I snapped it off. Heck, there's not much time. I should not have snapped off. All right, guys, got the tackle box here. And actually, uh, shout out to Wu for uh, sending me some stuff. Like, not sponsored or anything like that, but uh, they did send me like a ton of these bullet weights. And I like how they're labeled. So it tells me how heavy it is. And I've actually been using the uh, the net heads that they have in the one six ounce. I feel like that was perfect for like pond hopping and stuff like that. So, so thank you, Wu, for those. Appreciate you. Gotta go tie it back on. I've already ran through half the ones they gave me because. And just today, because this line is so light, but that's what you got to do with finesse stuff. And when you're finesse fishing a pond like this that has vegetation everywhere, you're bound to lose a couple. <laughs> All right, <laughs> look at this guy. So this is like the tail of a speed worm and just been putting them on an head rig and somehow, some way it's working. Like just the fish around here for whatever reason, just love like a paddle tail worm. It's just my all time confidence bait, but it's kind of weird throwing it like on a Ned rig half the size. And I could actually probably done a better job bringing that up. That kind of looks sloppy. It'll work though, we'll be good. So, so far guys, we've caught three fish today on a day where I really thought, like some of the other days I was like, okay, it's cold outside, but we can still make it happen. Today, I definitely thought it was not gonna happen. So I am just beyond happy with three fish, but we're gonna try to make it a uh, four and then five if we can, before the sun goes down. The water is going to be very, very, very cold, but for the casting angles, ah, oh, man, I don't wanna do it, but I think I have to. I think I gotta get the good cast in. Is that a fish? It is, it is, I got another one. Let's go, it's another baby. Dang it, <laughs> where is your mom? You shouldn't be swimming alone, you need parental supervision. Dang it. It's so weird though, I didn't even know there was fish this small like in here that would eat a lure until I started throwing the net break. Cause normally it'd be like, if you got a bite, it was gonna be like two pounder or something. See you buddy. But the Ned rig though, it'll catch those smaller fish and also catch some bigger fish too. At least I think it will. I've watched Mikey on the boat right in front of me catch this absolute behemoth bass right in front of my face and rubbed it in. A 10 pound, two ouncer on a Ned rig, even smaller than the one I'm throwing right now <laughs> on Lake Okeechobee of all places. I know it catches big ones. Come on, come on, big girl. Oh my gosh, he's fighting back. <laughs> I thought it was a log. Is it better? Oh, we might have actually got a good one. No way. Yes, we did. Yes, Walmart reel finally caught us a good fit. Oh, I snapped it off. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Where are you? Please still be here. No. Oh, where is it? No, I should have. Oh, that was like a four pounder, Norm. Why would you try to pull it over leaves with a Walmart combo? Not smart. No way did I just lose that. I pulled him from that water over to me 
you know, I was, I didn't want to walk in the water because it was going to be so cold and uh, pulled him over this and then he snapped off and he swam somewhere in here. Ugh. That was the big one we needed and I lost him. Guys, I think Zade's walking over too. I've kind of been doing some solo ripping. He's been on the phone. I'm going to prank him and tell him we haven't caught anything yet just to be mean, you know, but dang it. Dude. Why did I think pulling a four pounder over brush with 12 pound fluorocarbon on a Walmart spinning combo would be a good idea. We still got time guys. I'm going to, I'm going to catch a bigger one. Even bigger than four. That was a. That's gonna be the small one of the day. <laughs> so I got a uh, little rattling Ned right here. Something that's actually supposed to go on a uh, on a Ned rig. So maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe it'll catch me a fish. Let's go back to the place of the accident. <laughs> My first cast ever with a uh, with a rattling Ned. So this should be cool. Also, I don't know why when I was reeling that fishing, I totally thought he was going to be sitting on top of the mat when I walked out there. Like me losing him was like snapping him off and then him not being there was like a double, like just in my face, like haha -ha moment for the fish. They got me, got me good. Is that another fish? It is, same spot. What the heck? Is it better? What in the, okay, we're walking out. We learned our lesson. This actually, I did, what did I tell you guys? We were going to catch a good one. Don't, don't snap the line. Stop, 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 stop. Oh yeah, baby. It's a different fish too. Look, there's no Ned rig in his mouth. That is a freaking chunk on the Walmart reel. Ah, Ned rig does catch big fish guys. It's like a three and a half pounder all day. Look at that bad boy. Boom. <laughs> right in the mouth. Oh, beautiful look. I was ready that time. First cast ever on a rattling Ned. Three and a half, probably, I would guess. I don't want to pull out the skill because I want to keep on casting, but I mean, yeah, it's all day, like bare minimum three something. Nice. Freaking go, baby. All right, buddy. If you find your girlfriend who's a couple pounds bigger than you, you'll know it's her because she has a Ned rig, like probably right in her mouth, same spot you had one. Tell her that I would like that back, please. All right, thank you. <laughs> Telling you guys a Ned rig. I was against it for a little bit. I was wrong. Like it's it's pretty epic. Pretty freaking epic. I'm just casting the same spot again. I'm already standing in freezing cold water right now, so might as well get the best of it. I can't wait to tell Zade I didn't catch anything. Prank him. Overall, guys, the Walmart reel is performing better than expected. <laughs> I mean, for 15 bucks, I've uh, I fished with a few things for $15 that were maybe worth zero dollars. Like you'd have to pay me to fish with them. This, like, I could see myself fishing with it. Not like my first choice, obviously, but I mean, like I would throw it and probably still catch just around as many fish. Maybe not be able to cast as far. Maybe it's not like gonna last me as long, but it might have something to do with the rod too. I really like this rod as well. So it kind of makes like any reel kind of feel good. I might have to try it on like a worse rod or something. <laughs> I don't know. Is that another fish? There's no way. That's what I say, I'm not that good. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, baby. Jeez, look at that. Now that, <laughs> that is, uh, I mean, that's a fish. We'll take it. Kabam. What is that? Fish number like seven, I think. Six or seven. We're up there. <sighs> yes. <sighs> They're loving the Ned Rig. I am a official believer in the Ned Rig. <laughs> no way do I have another one. I'm going to be mad if this is a fish out in the middle. I think that's him. Oh, I had him. I had him, too. <laughs> <laughs> what that is ridiculous i was just out i just bombed one out in the middle not even near the grass oh that's him right here the bank dude why are they following it up right in front of me <laughs> okay i'm convinced i'm catching the same fish like eight times in a row <laughs> that is insane all right all right all right are you just playing with me here <laughs> oh my gosh I should not be catching this many fish today. This should not be happening right now. I'm just casting the same spot over and over again. It's so small though. It's like just perfect. My legs have become numb at this point. <laughs> Standing in freezing cold water. I need to get, I need to get out before we lose all circulation. It's kind of like a nice ice bath, like a nice muscle relaxer kind of. All right, we're going to walk down a little bit more. As you guys can tell, it's been getting darker. See if we can't catch uh, one more in like a new area of water and then call our day. But this this reel has caught a lot of fish today and i mean it's working i don't i don't know what else i really need to say that's kind of crazy all right back into the water i go oh yes oh i got one in the pads that was so freaking cool 
<laughs> that is crazy. And it looks exactly the same as the last freaking five of them. The Ned Rig really is like a numbers machine. And the reel, I mean, we're flipping them. Like we're really putting the reel to the test today. See you, buddy. Through all this stuff. I mean, we are not doing normal bank fishing in a nice mode backyard <laughs> well kept i mean this is just straight up like we're in it we're in it right now it is starting to make a little bit of a noise though I, i'm kind of noticing the reel is like i can't remember if it was making that noise before or not what is that uh oh <laughs> maybe that's why it's 15 dollars it's starting to make a slight noise all right guys about to make my last cast right here as soon as i reel this one up okay here we go What's up? Are you filming? Well guys, the sun is going down. We're trying. <laughs> All I need is one. I'm kidding, I already caught like nine fish. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, yeah. you didn't. I'm done. I was, I was trying to, I was gonna try to play it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my no, gosh, I like no. I caught like a, I caught like a three something pounder too. And lost another big one, snapped him off in the bushes. I, I've caught like nine probably. So we're good to go. <laughs> you? Yeah. <laughs> you think I wouldn't catch fish in the middle of winter? You're wrong. <laughs> How? Ned Rig, dude. <laughs> Ned Rig's house. The Walmart reel, it's starting to make a noise, but it was good for today at least. Like maybe even rent a reel, you know what I mean? Like if you have to rent one, 15 bucks for a day worth of fishing. I don't know if this will last a few weeks, but right now it's golden. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I had an absolute blast. Actually, let me walk backwards a little bit. My feet are freezing cold. There we go. We did it. Another day, more bass. I had to prank <laughs> Zane a little bit and say that I didn't catch anything. Or, oh, we need one more. Nah, we caught some fish. That was epic. What an epic day. Led all the way to the last spawn again, you know, just how it is. The bass like to play with me a little bit, I guess, but what an awesome day, guys. Real overall, I would give it as of day one, like, I don't know, like for 15 bucks, like a 10 out of 10, but it's not like, I don't want to sell this to you guys because I'm not even sponsored, but it was actually decent. Like it was good. And that's pretty much all I got to say. Like it's, you can tell like it's not a $200 reel, but it, you also can't tell it's a $15 reel. It's, it was surprised. It surprised me. So it might not surprise me if I used it for a week, it might just start falling apart, which would probably happen. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, everything to make this video do better. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Just a type of fish, any type of fish will work. Try to keep it secret. It's only for you guys who made it to the end of the video and I will give this reel away in the next video. For those of you guys who made it to the end, any type of fish, you guys are entered to win the Walmart reel. So thank you guys very much. Until the next fishing adventure, Fishball, I'm out of here.